All right, guys, so after I shared that last video on what my actual YouTube earnings are, but a few of you asked me, you know, what does it take, for example, to earn 1000 a month on YouTube? And I certainly had the same question because to me, 1000 a month is a lot of money. Like that's money for savings, for car payments, for travel, for whatever, or for rent. And so what does it actually take to get there? And if you're a new YouTuber, what do you really have to do or sacrifice to get there? That's what I'm going to share in this video today. What's up guys, Alex Hine here, author of the book Master of the Day. So I think the really big thing is setting the expectation. And what's really difficult about social media and YouTube is that they follow a geometric exponential curve and not a linear one. So the problem is that people see like, I'm getting one subscriber a day or 10 a day. And they're like, well, crap, 10 a day is only 300 a month. Three times 12, that's only 3,600 a year. How in the hell am I going to get 100,000 to turn this into a real business. The thing is, that's not how it works because there's something called the 1,000 follower ledge. But basically what I've learned is that when you hit 1,000 subscribers, I believe something in YouTube's algorithm switches and they say, hey, this person is legit. They're uploading a lot consistently. Let's give them a little bump. And I've noticed in at least three of my friends, including myself, once you hit that 1,000 subscriber mark, subscriber, it really does start to kick up a lot. So for example, it can take you a year to get from zero to 2000, but I went from 2000 to 82,000 in less than a year. And considering that right now, this is a June 1st, 2018, fall, September, 2017. So what is that a year and a half? I had 20,000 subscribers a year and a half ago. So there is no linear growth there. That's like, that's definitely geometric. I'm at 151 or 152,000 now. So the first thing is be patient and don't quit because on YouTube, especially one video that takes off will double or triple your audience in a week. I mean, I went from 20,000 or 10,000 to 70, 80,000 in two weeks last fall. That's crazy. Okay. So it follows a geometric growth pattern. So the second thing here is the frequency. Now, personally, I've noticed that there is no way I can predict what videos go viral. I Like, all my friends, we talk about this every mastermind call on Thursday. None of us know what video goes viral ever, not once. As a result, having a regular frequency is really important because think about it. If statistically 1% of your videos go viral, then if you upload twice as many, then twice as many will go viral. Then 2% will go viral, right? So the more times you upload, as long as you're maintaining good quality, the higher the chances of a video taking off or a video being impactful, whatever your goals are. And so I would aim for at least once per week, but honestly, almost without exception, the more the better, as long as you're maintaining the quality. Personally, I aim for two to three high quality per week. At the start though, it was just one or two. And so I think effectively that's all it takes. And if they're not popping, you have to ask yourself, okay, look at the quality. So because you can't really predict what videos take off, focus on frequency, at least one a week. All right, so the third thing here is about the actual videos themselves. What do you actually do? And like, how do you know a video is actually good enough? Because at the start, you're not getting rewarded by YouTube. You're not getting rewarded by an audience that says, hey, 100 views, that was an amazing video. No one comments, no one watches, no one shares. So where's the feedback loop to tell you, you did great work or you did shitty work? It doesn't exist. And so what I found that worked in the beginning is, number one, model what has worked. And what I mean by that is, if your stuff is not popping after like 50 videos, one per week, you really need to look closer at the quality. And that means the content you're delivering, is it unique, is it original? The delivery, are you like, hello, my name is Stanley? And I hang out with my sister and pet slug in Alabama. And we like to just touch salamanders. Like, look, to be honest, there's someone in the world that loves that stuff. I'm sure. But I'm probably not going to watch it. So delivery is one thing. There's a reason why people on TV are called TV personalities. Everyone that does video work eventually has to come up with their persona. And for me, I'm myself just like jacked up like a hamster on meth. 
it's just like a hundred times the amount of energy because it doesn't communicate well through the camera. So I'm way overdoing it so you can feel my energy. Now, delivery is one, content and the quality of the camera. I would actually say the quality of the video is the least important. Quality of the audio is a lot more important, but model other people. If the stuff is not popping for you, go look at other videos and be like, whoa, grainy, looks like it was shot in my bathroom with sketchy people. And this one is like high production HDTV. That's worth paying attention to. Doesn't mean you do it, but just observe. And then delivery. Are there people that are like very soft-spoken, withdrawn, or are they like jacked up like a hamster on meth? I don't know, both work. There are popular people with both categories. And then honestly, the rest of that is just iterating and getting better every single time. You can look at my last videos and see the ones that sucked. So the final thing obviously is the titles and the thumbnails. The sad truth about YouTube, a lot of it is just BS. Who can copy who? If you really want the most popular channel, you could rip the same headlines from other popular channels in your niche. You could even do the same thumbnails. That's fine if you want to do that, but if you want to create original content, what I found works is also headlines that are proven, but putting your own spin on them. So for example, like how to lose 10 pounds, you could do like the Jim Carrey technique to lose 10 pounds. My weird green tea addiction that helped me lose 10 pounds. How to watch so much Netflix that you lose 10 pounds through starvation. There's a lot of ways to do it. But thinking about like, what's your 1% spin on the title? And the sad truth also is that the thumbnail game is also just a game. And what I've learned, the number one thing is, besides turning this into like a full-fledged course, is that thumbnails need to arouse emotion. So if I'm like, how do you stop feeling so tired and lazy? And I'm just like, it's like, oh, feel tired and lazy. That's great. But if you're just like, this weird, like, attention-catching, but emotion-arousing image, that's the most important. Look at all the dating channels, right? It's like, how to stop being a nice guy and pick up the hot girl. And it's like, the nerdy dude getting, like, pulled by his, his I was going to say his leash, but by his tie, and then, like, some hot, suggestive girl. That's like, ooh, you know, I, ooh, interesting. And, like, pulls on that emotional part of you. Or... If it's something that really is weird or unusual, make the thumbnail look weird and unusual. So if you think of anything, just think, number one, is this emotion arousing? Do they see that and feel something rather than just like, oh yeah, I should watch that. And then does it accurately portray what's actually in your video? Because I find that if you do those two things, um, they're going to be the most not only truthful, it's going to help people watch the content they want, but the emotion is what gets them in in the first place. So... If you want to know what I'm talking about, just scan the most popular videos right now on YouTube and think, emotionally, what emotion does it make me feel? Pissed off, happy, sad, turned on, whatever. Think about that because that really is the key part of what to put in the thumbnail. All right, guys. So I hope that video helps. The best way to stay in touch is to grab the free seven-day personal development and weight loss challenge, modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube. Also in the description there below is the link to that. And you can watch my last videos here and that video on how much I actually make from YouTube right here.